In part one, we made this. Now, as promised, we'll make this into this with meshes. What's a mesh? It's a lot of triangles. What's a triangle? This is a triangle. It has three points called vertices A, B, and C. But wait, this world isn't made of triangles. It's made of squares. But guess what? A square is two triangles put together. This one, A, B, C, and this one, D, E, F. Six points, two triangles, one square. Good. Let's implement it. Remember that script? Grid. Open it. Make a new function. Draw terrain mesh. This will take our array of cells and make it into a mesh. The mesh needs a list of vertices. If list isn't found, add this to the top of your script. Anyway, list of vertices. Those are these vertices. The points on the triangle. You also need a list of triangle indices. Triangle, triangle indices. indices. What? Don't worry. For us, they're just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, numbers in order. These are so that Unity knows what order to draw things in. Now we'll loop through the cells and add the vertices. If the center of a cell is at this point, then the vertices will be here, 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 and here. Now add these to the list of vertices. Also add the triangle indices. Now assign these to the mesh and then call recalculate normal so Unity can figure out how light should bounce off of stuff. Now add a mesh filter to hold the mesh data and a mesh renderer to actually show the mesh. Now go back to Unity to see if it works. It works, but why is it pink? Because there are no materials. Pink means no material. So how do you add materials? Watch part 3. Have you heard of my game by the way? Or said.